one thing that seems to cause a bit of confusion is when to use a one-tail test and when to use a two-tail test. And the answer to this lies in the nature of the alternative hypothesis that we're testing. So, for example, suppose we have a regression model, yi equals alpha plus beta xi plus a random error term ui. And suppose we are asked to test the null hypothesis that the slope coefficient is equal to zero against the alternative that is not equal to zero. That's a very common test. We set this out as follows. The null is beta equals zero. The alternative is beta is not equal to zero. Now, should we use a one-tail test or a two-tail test? Well, the answer lies in the nature of the alternative hypothesis. And the alternative hypothesis here allows for both positive and negative deviations. So, what we would use as a test statistic would be the t-ratio, which is beta hat over the standard error of beta hat. And we're willing to allow for um, beta to be either positive or negative in this case. So, if we were to draw the probability density function for t, under the null hypothesis, it would look like this. It would be centred on zero, symmetric around it, so this is a PDF under the null, and we would reject the null hypothesis if the test statistic lay either too far out here in the right tail or too far out here in the left tail of the distribution. So in this case, when we, the, null, the, the alternative is that beta is not equal to zero, we use a two-tail test. Now consider a different test. Suppose we re-specify the alternative and we want to test the alternative hypothesis that beta is greater than zero. Okay? Well, in this case, we have a one-sided alternative. We're only interested in positive deviations. So again, drawing the PDF under the null, We've got the standard T PDF, but we're now only interested in deviations from on the positive side or the right side of the distribution. So we're only interested in values of the T statistic that lie here in the right tail of the distribution. So in this case, we would use a one tail test. So in summary, whenever we're asked to choose between doing a one tail test and a two tail test, we look at the nature of the alternative hypothesis. If the alternative hypothesis is simply that the coefficient is not equal to zero, we use a two-tailed test. If the alternative is that the coefficient is either greater than zero or indeed less than zero, we would use a one-tailed test.